I'm about to show you something extremely controversial. It's even illegal in the state of Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, my DNA. Now, I bet you thought it was going to be a lot crazier than that. This TikTok caused a storm online, with many debating what his results, which show no trace of being from Palestine or the Middle East, despite being Jewish, mean. Ancestral DNA testing is an industry worth billions of dollars, with a number of companies offering to help you understand where your family hails from. Commercially available tests began in the early 2000s and have enjoyed considerable popularity, especially in the last few years. Yet in the state of Israel, getting hold of a genealogical DNA test is highly restricted. Yet Dov Aharonov and the Jerusalem Post reported in 2019 that Israel's genetic information law blocks people from buying them from local pharmacies. A court order is needed to purchase the kits, a process which could entail obtaining a doctor's letter and going to a government approved laboratory. The Minister of Health says the reliability of commercially available kits is questionable and it could cause issues within families. They also claim restricting access protects the public from insurance companies and private entities from misusing the data. However, some think Israel might have other concerns with the kit. Because it proves through your DNA that Jews around the world have no ancestral ties to the land of Israel. But according to Israeli law, the fact that I have Jewish blood gives me more right to somebody's home and land in the land of Palestine than somebody that has been there for hundreds of years. Ancestral DNA testing by companies has always been controversial. The first issue is that only 1% of your DNA is tested by companies who are looking for certain characteristics in the genes to determine which population it matches. The second issue is the results you get depending upon the samples stored in the company's own databases. There have been reports of identical twins selling their DNA off to the same company and getting different results. Thirdly, each company might give you a different results and breakdown due to having different samples in their database. Fourthly, companies do not reveal the formulas they use for determining your breakdown. Fifthly, consumers often ignore a crucial piece of data on test results, which are the confidence ratings. In other words, how sure are the companies of the results provided? Some DNA companies have 50% as their default setting for displaying their results, meaning they are only 50% sure of the accuracy of the breakdown being displayed. Consumers are allowed to click on a box and increase the confidence rating, which more often than not changes the results being displayed. In addition to this, we don't really know what the exact genetic makeup of people from the past is, as people from ancient Rome, medieval Baghdad or 18th century France died before they could give their DNA samples. Geneticist Adam Ruford says these tests don't necessarily show you your geographical origins in the past, rather with whom you share a common ancestor with today. DNA testing to prove Jewish ancestry is a hot button political issue in Israel. For example, Israel's chief rabbinate has pushed for the ancestral DNA tests to be allowed to prove Jewishness in certain cases. In particular, many Jews have emigrated to Israel from the Soviet Union, who may not have had the necessary paperwork that shows they are Jewish, have sought to get genetic tests done to show they are Jews. In 2019, a political scandal erupted when it appeared Russian Jews were secretly submitting DNA tests to the rabbinate in order to obtain the right to move to Israel. Opponents use different arguments against testing from concerns over racialization, eugenics, pseudoscience and discrimination since it was only being considered in the case of Russian Jews. 
Israeli law as it stands does not consider DNA proof as sufficient grounds to be granted the right to emigrate to Israel and obtain citizenship. Unless it is to prove someone is the child of an Israeli citizen, aside from question marks over its reliability, proving you have Jewish DNA does not mean you or your family did not convert to other religions, which makes you ineligible to become Israeli. A lawsuit was filed against the Rabinat for allowing tests. However, the High Court ruled in the Rabinat's favour and asked the Rabinat to provide more evidence and clarification on the test's meaning. DNA will remain a hot-button issue for the foreseeable future.